So we're putting in the middle stabilizing board. That looks pretty straight. Yep, it does. So, so far he's put this one in, then this one, and then this one. No, actually, he did this one, this one, and then the front one. He did that one, and this one, and then this one. And he's going to screw, if you could see this, he screwed in the, um, if you can see them, it's so bright outside, it's hard to tell. Oh, there they are. Yeah, so he screwed them down in to secure them safely, because that's really the only way to do it that's safe. This bits are lousy in the camera. Yeah. This is the most stressful part of it because the screws don't want to cooperate, and they're kind of the bit. I guess isn't very good. Really? Pause. Well, while we're looking, while we're waiting for him to get back. So, <clears throat> this is my potty here, which I got at... Academy and I'm gonna put some good bags in there and I bought some cedar chips and I have more room here than I need because I put the seat up but and I'm gonna have to crawl down from my bed to get to the potty so we made it a nice big area Smart. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> I was thinking the exact same thing, Daddy. It actually went in. Little spider. Thank you. I don't know why, but since I came back from Asheville, I've got like a bunch of little baby spiders. At least they're playing a good song. Looks like it. I don't know, did you? I mean, just where it is, or I think I cut 13 and a quarter on the other one. Remember you said you were going to raise it up a little bit to make it flush? Yeah, well, so yeah, that's almost level, so if we go. Because we're on a slight hill, he's making it a little bit higher on the one side to make it level because of the little bit of tiny incline that, that I have while I'm parked here in their driveway. I'll so he's measuring it. I'll put that extra that I did on the other side. Okay. Thirteen and a quarter. Hopefully it's a little dog. <laughs> So we used the extra piece of lumber that I did not need because my car is so short. We ended up with a good over three feet, right, that we had left after we chopped it. So yeah. he's using that for all of the stabilization boards underneath. So we're not wasting a lot of wood, what we have left. 
and I ended up getting a three quarter, I think I said in my last video, because I heard that that was the best one, because I didn't want something flimsy. Oh, it just crumbles. Okay. Push down. It's just okay. hanging over a lot. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Daddy, that's my job. We're here in Georgia in the hottest part of the day. Still hold it here? Yeah. Voila. So because I am kind of paranoid and daddy said he could, uh, it's good to have overkill, I'm all for overkill to make sure that my bed is stable. And I want to be turning over in here a crack. So and once this is done, it's done. So it's all good. I think that's Is that better? <laughs> Yeah, I guess. I can't tell. It look, might look a little bit higher on the left, up at the front. No. But. If it's an inch higher, your head's going to go over. Because <laughs> I don't use a pillow. Well, I can I always. have to turn this one straight because there's nothing behind That's fine. You sit it on. You know, it's hollow. That's fine. I mean, so underneath you can where still he's. Get in your where he's. Bathroom where he's putting it my seat was so there's a hollow spot so he only has a one choice in the location to put the stabilization piece because there's no room on the other side have what attitude adjuster <laughs> too bad we didn't think of that earlier i oh, thought I about, about it the same time as you did the, those other screws I have for the deck, it's got a different bit and the, the top's bigger. Boy, they just chew right yeah. there. No problem, but this thing's so tiny. Yeah. Hey, whatever works makes it easier. All right. Once it's stable. Oh, I guess it stable. Oh, well. There's always things that we run into, little issues. You have to push down like, straight, too. He had to cut that off because it was tight and it was banging into my front seat a little too much so we had a little adjusted a little adjustment success Soft spot? Yeah. Open part? To, it'll just push down. Like that. It's not, it's not straight. It needs to go to your left. Left. What, this part? Yeah. What's well, right on the edge of the wood? Oh. Well, if you bend down and look at it, it's a little not, it's not straight. Oh, you mean up and down wise? Yeah. Oh. If you wanted it straight. Yeah. Mm. Oh, I, there, perfect. I that part okay, yet. I sorry. <laughs> it in where it went. Yeah, I didn't know what you were asking. How's that? Well, it was it was perfect a minute a second ago. Okay, I mean it's almost there. Mm, that's perfect from my perspective. Maybe a tad to the left. Well, we can always move it. Okay. 
There. It's not bolted down okay. There. Oh boy. Yeah, makes it easy when it cooperates. Uh, I haven't heard this song in years. It came out the edge, I better put another one in it. Success. I'll hold it. Now we're just going to put one about here for stability and one more straight down from this. One right there, I hope. And we'll be done. Could go all the way to the bottom. Oh, you didn't say if you had enough leg room. Yeah, it's fine because I can always turn the toilet the other way. If you need, I can move it over a couple more inches. If yeah, but I was going to put stuff here, so. Okay, well. No, you're fine. I'm you're going to put, put it, it flush. Right up against there. Okay. It's not, it's not straight, though. If you, you look, know. how are you going to do that? You mean this way? No, look underneath. It's not even going to go in. Underneath. It's not lined up equally. Oh, you know why? Because the floor goes down. Crap. This end's going to hold all the weight. You got your hump in the middle? Yeah. And then it goes downhill. So now what? Well, I'll just put a couple on this end. It won't move. <laughs> that way, if it does get heavy on it, it'll... Push it down. Push it down, but then it won't sag. Okay. Too bad you don't have those super long screws. Well, I, <laughs> well, I got shorter ones because I had some real long ones, but I used them on the deck. That looked good. Yeah. You can't really tell from an angle, but. Um, not sure because it's not going to go down. You might be a tad over to the right, but I can't tell, like you said. Yeah, that's way off. So you got to go to your left? Yeah. Yeah. You could have pushed it back a little bit too, but it's okay. You already got one in. Just finish it. We can see all these he's got for my stableness. Look at that. It's not going anywhere. Man, it's so dark you can't even see down here from my angle because we're in the shade, but it's in the sun out there. Okay, so apparently I had, for like two minutes, I had security on, so it wasn't, I don't think it was letting me film anything, but anywho, look at that. They, so it went in? Yep. So we've got two in here, yeah, successfully. Yeah. And I still have room if I want to turn my potty... This way, this way, probably not that way, but, and then during the day, I can keep my seat back, and then at night, just move my seat up, and it's perfect, which is what I'm going to do right now, really. Now he's got one more piece, and then we're good. So this is a Ford Escape, Escape, 2008. 
Okay. So we're doing one last short one for my neuroses of stability <laughs> because there is kind of a big cut out here because he wanted to make sure he could get it in okay and it's no big deal because I don't really, you know, once my mattress is on, it's going to be secured. So the back seat, I mean the back board length from up here to the end is approximately 63 inches. I'm 64 inches, so it's pretty darn close. Luckily, I'm on the shorter side because my vehicle is pretty small. Yeah. Yeah, it's hard to do when you don't have... Yeah. Well, I'll, I'll hold it. No biggie. Right? You want me to hold it? You sure? Be careful. Guess you need a plug. He said it would have saved him time had he had two plugs, two cords. I say, yep. You want it plugged in the side or the back here? I'm okay. coming the side. Okay. Oh. I can tell if you have it lined up too. It's kind of right right on the line. Um, so the bottom needs to be kicked in just a, a tad towards you. Well, we can move it after we put the screw in. Really? Yeah, because the bottom's still Okay. Flexible. It looks like um it's still a little crooked. Just a hair. Well, I mean you wanna It's just the bottom that's, it's it's like this, just a hair off. Maybe a little more to your left on the bottom, but. You get a screw in it okay. so the top won't move. Hmm, kind of straightened up, a little, maybe a tad to your. This way. That, not too much. <laughs> Back a tad. That's fine, that's fine. That's fine. No, it, it was fine the way... That's fine, Daddy. Just like that. Good enough. As long as it doesn't bend and break, then I'm good. I don't think this is going anywhere. I don't think anybody's built this sturdy. <laughs> what do you think? It would hold, like, 500 pounds? <laughs> Probably. Probably a couple of 500 pounds. <laughs> awesome, guys. So, I think he's officially done with his work and then the next thing is my mom is going to cut my foam which I'll show you in another video looks good all right looks good super reinforced for my peace of mind looks pretty good all right to be continued